What is Bridging Voices? Bridging Voices is a community, it's a family, it's a chorus. It's a chorus for youth who are LGBTQ plus and allied youth who come together from all over the Portland and Vancouver metro areas and create beauty out of their own personal struggles. The kids here, they're just amazing people. While Bridging Voices is not a religious organization, we have received incredible support from welcoming congregations throughout the Portland area. As a matter of fact, Waverly Heights UCC is the place where Bridging Voices started. They provided us space and support from the beginning. I would describe it as like a very warm and welcoming like community. There's not really other places for people in that age range who are queer to interact. Like most like queer spaces are bars and clubs or they're at school. Um, if you're lucky enough to have a school that has a GSA or a QSA. So it's really important to have places for like young queer people to be able to meet each other and interact and learn from each other. I think it's vital for um, any teen to find a place where they can fit in, where they are welcomed regardless of you know who they are, how they choose to dress, what their pronouns are. It's so important to have that identity recognized. So until they find a space where there's just no question, they can to shut down in all sorts of parts of their lives. Outside of an organization like this, we probably never would have even been in contact with each other, let alone uh, found common ground. Organizations like Bridging Voices are very important because there's still kids out there that were like me, that right now, that don't have a place where they're safe. They don't have a place where they can be themselves. Sometimes it's their first experience meeting other youth in their same circumstance. Some of them come in and they've been out for a good amount of years. It's exciting to see a kid come in who's quiet and reserved, but within three or four rehearsals, they're just right in there with everybody else. I get stories back from parents that their kids um, are just like a whole different person. But really, so many of their issues are just the same kinds of things that all teenagers deal with. I've seen a lot of the youth here really open up and grow and become more comfortable with themselves and with each other throughout the past few years. Seeing someone that was like crying their first day, so scared and nervous, um, then, see, then seeing them at the concert and being like out there and just their whole personality is just shining through and it's just, it's great. <laughs> I have a tight shell around me and I wanted to open up a bit and just um, be more expressive because um, I noticed that I wasn't doing that much. Uh. <laughs> I've watched my kids who are in Bridging Voices find their power there and you can see it here on campus, you can see them grow. Youth, especially youth who are LGBTQ+, are significantly at a higher risk for issues with depression, substance abuse, struggles within the family. It can result in some really negative situations. A lot of these kids struggle with suicidal ideation. It can be really dangerous if these things aren't recognized. I used to not be able to do that many things as a kid. And like, once I joined foster care, my foster parents like helped me discover this place and they told me that it would like open up my view of it, and it did. Like I'm not by myself. There's like all these other people who like know how I feel, I guess. Um, so it's just a community, like a little family. Like having a second family and having a lot of support in this choir is it's just great. Having a lot of support and knowing that if you ever need anything, people are there for you and like, you just need to talk, people are there. Organizations like Bridging Voices make a safe place for kids, even if they don't have that at school, if they don't have that in their community. Anyone can join. You can be an advocate, you can be an ally, you can just be someone who wants to sing and it allows a place for kids to go ahead and find their inner self. The real frontier now is, is the youth. We've marched in the last three uh, pride parades and to see the reception that the youth get, the thing that we most often hear back is people reflecting and saying, wow, if only this had been an option when I was growing up, I might not have had it so tough. This is my only really connection to like most of the community that I'm in, like actually interacting face to face instead of in social media. 
I think organizations like Bridging Voices are important because they just give us a space where we can just sort of sing and be ourselves. Just having sort of a family or like a refuge to go to every week. Eric, the youth here, I love them very much because they're, I'm just, I just, they're like a family to me. I think everyone needs a space that they can feel like safe and supported and accepted. Like sometimes there are situations where you're not supported and just having a space that you can come to and just kind of like breathe. The music always seems to fall into place but it's all about the kids and making sure they have a safe place to be and that support they need.